Hey, I'm Mike, and I'm gonna show you how you can go to cheap stores and make your own YouTube video for less than $30 using just your iPhone, which I'm using right now. stuff because I realized I can't carry it all by myself. That's a little dark, I don't know. You know what? A dollar twenty-five, so let's try both these woods. Okay. I have three of these. Okay, got post <laughs> It's falling out everywhere. <laughs> The nice thing about poster board is it's a matte finish. So once I get these up, the positive is that when you shine a light on it, it doesn't reflect that well. So I'm gonna get a couple of these too. I spent $12.46 at the Dollar Tree. And uh, we're gonna see if I can get the rest under $15 for a couple lights and a iPhone stand. All right, now I'm at five below. I'm gonna try and find a light and a stand for my phone. If not, we'll have to improvise. Okay, so I got the selfie stick. Only problem is it says $5 on here and the receipt, it charged me $5.55, but I'm not gonna complain over 55 cents. That just doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna try and find a light somewhere. If not, you know, you can use your lights at home and then I'm far under budget. All right, now I'm at Target instead of Walmart because uh, I don't know, they're both evil corporations. I just figured they might have it too and I wouldn't have to take a left turn. Anyway, let's see what they got. All right, I'm not sure which one, but this one's 11, this one's eight, let's, uh, or vice versa, let's see, and uh, pick one up. All right, let's see what this one is. Eight dollars. Uh, this one, coming home with me. Okay, so here we got our supplies. We got this, I'm gonna show you how to use this with the poster board. And then we're gonna use this to put it up. Now there are other ways you can do it. You can use things around the house even. So you don't even have to spend this money. Guess what? You just want a green screen. You have the lights, $1. $1 can get you started with one of these table plots. Is it the best green screen? No, and I'll show you why later. You want something more matte like this. These were, should have been 79 cents. They charged me a dollar each. Uh, I guess they changed the price without telling anybody. Okay, four bucks plus another 375. This is 775, and I'll show you how to get two backgrounds off of it. You can get a background and you can have your green screen so you can do whatever background you want. The nice thing about green screen, you can all the way around the world, anything you can dream of, you can use. So I'm gonna show you first how to put this one together, the one with this, with this. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is measure. So this right here is exactly 18 inches by 48 inches. Now how do I get 48? Four times 12 inches. That's right, kids. 
that is four feet so what i want to make sure is that this is going to be long enough and where to place it so i'm going to take my tape measure that i borrowed from my dad and place it across this is if you look over here just over two feet right here so i have a little bit of room so i should have a little bit of room on the outside uh, so I want to place it about four inches in, five inches in on each side. That way I have enough. Now let's check the other side. Okay. By measuring this, this is 22 inches. If you can see that, right over here, 22 inches. So if I got 22 inches, these are going to be, let's see. So that's the skinny side, I want 18. So I wanna beat, have about two inches on each side. So I want about two inches each side. So I'm gonna start two inches down and do it across. So let me show you how to do this. First thing we're gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mark four inches. I wanna make sure I have plenty of room. So mark four inches on this side. And I'm gonna mark two inches on here. In real quick. I'm gonna do the same thing. Actually, I'm just gonna mark two inches down. This one is gonna be on this side. So now I just wanna mark two inches every so often. Just so I have a good spot. So now I'm going to mark the sides. So this will be I could write on this side because it's going to be the left upper. So what I want to do is going to be on the left. I'm going to mark around four inches, four and a half inches, somewhere there. I'm going to mark right there. Now, I'm gonna go down here, two inches. Mark right there. Now, I go every two inches, every couple inches. Might as well mark it with this. Now, you're gonna need a ruler, or you're gonna need a something to mark it. Okay, you're all the way across. And you're gonna do it for each one. Now you notice that I still have the stickers on, that's because we're gonna put this over it to cover. This is not gonna be our green screen side, the other side is, so this side doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that we have the markings, it doesn't matter we have the stickers. All right, so these markings we had before, now we're gonna line this up and we're gonna put it across our green screen background. So first, start to peel. I'm gonna put that in front of it so we can Here we go. Let me get this part underneath down. There we go. No! <laughs> now, roll it out. Make sure the recording.
in the right way? Of course. The right way? You want it in landscape? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here's a good cheat method my dad just showed me. Fold the frickin' down like that. Fold it nice. Then line it up for the second piece. Can have a little bit of green showing, that's fine. Show them how to cheat, Dad. Measure it over now. Measure the overlap, start cutting. Measure the overlap, start cutting. Do you want to repeat it again? I didn't get the mic on you the first time, so now I have you saying it. Measure the overlap. You want to say it again, Dad? Measure the overlap and start cutting. You guys heard it here first. Measure the overlap and start cutting. This way you don't have to get a fancy utility knife. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but it if you got the overlap, you got it done. Thanks, Father Figure. Or things suffered a little bit of a lineup problem, but that's okay because that's going to be on the side. Try and stay positive. <laughs> Maybe. Could be. It's a dollar store. This is also one of the cons of going to the dollar store. Cheap prints that don't line up correctly. How much was this roll? Dollar twenty-five each. Where <sighs> did we spend five dollars? <laughs> Dad, they're on a well. Technically, this was three seventy-five dollars. <laughs> it's three rolls. Four rolls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we got our wood backgrounds. Let's put it up in a room. Now, I'm not at my place, I'm at my parents, so what you have to do is you have to find a wall. So I found this wall. It's big, it's out of the way, and most importantly, it's got a window behind it. Now that I have natural light, there's one problem. I got a small stand. That'll do. And now it's time to put up our background. As you can see, this is now a background that we can use. We can put some decorations up here. Maybe I'll do that in a later video. But now I have, and one of the downsides to this, are you gonna get reflection from any kind of light source? So that is a negative. You can't control that. The more indoor light and 
stuff you can put behind you, the better. If not, you are gonna get reflection on your screen. Now let me show you what it looks like when you flip it around and have just the green screen. All right, now you got your green screen. As you can tell, I'm standing in the middle where the lines are because you are gonna get some lines here. Now what you can do is you can take some tape, tape it down so it's a little less noticeable. One of the downsides to this as a green screen is actually let me put this here to help keep it down, is that you do have spots because it's four different pieces. You're gonna have little spots like this. Now again, you can take some tape, tape it down, and for the most part, this will work as a green screen. Watch. Bam. I'm in the Bahamas. Boom. I am in Paris. Hello, wee oui, wee. Oui. Jacques Le Bleu. I'm in London. I'm still here. You might see the little flaws here or there, but you get the idea. This is a great way to start. Now let me show you the ultimate green screen that you can actually get more than one person, the tablecloth. front of the previous one uh, to make it a little darker but look I have an even better bigger green screen now if I took this out underneath it'd be a solid green I could use this with multiple people I could do it by myself but I get a lot more room to work with than just that small area although the other one's good for personal again downside of this one a little bit of lights bouncing off of it uh, it's not too bad but and also it's very thin you look up here, it's already putting a hole in the thing, so you can't stretch it too thin. It means you're going to have a little bit of lines. But again, this is a dollar solution. Now, if you want to go big, that's when you got to get the actual green sheet. Now, you can get those on Amazon. They're like 15 bucks. They'll last forever. But again, this is a good starter. If you need something to get started, this is a way you can do it, even without this one in the background. You get a solid green screen to go wherever you want. Anywhere in the world, New York City. Uh, we could go to Los Angeles. You want to go to the fiery depths of hell? A little too hot for you? How about heaven? Anyway, you can go any place you want to go. Anyway, that's how you make a cheap green screen room for under $30. Again, you have the self one right here. I put this on top on purpose. You cannot have this behind it because actually that would make a difference. But look, you have this that goes the entire length of the wall of 40 something feet, square feet of use where you can, you and another person even can do something. Then on the other side of this, we also have our wood panel. So tell me what you guys think. Was this helpful? How would you do it yourself? Do you have any questions? Um, I'm gonna make some more how-to videos on how to record things. If you have any questions, if there's something you're trying to figure out and for the life of you, you can't, send it to me. I recorded everything on an iPhone right on this video and I used iMovie. I didn't use anything else except a couple other apps. So again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much. Have a great day and happy creating.